Welcome to Creo 3.0 training series and this updated training series can directly increase your productivity if you are related to R&D engineering or design and if you are assigned with the role GM design or SPM design, the special purpose machine design, application engineer, engineering domain designer or maybe related to any particular engineering domain where you can take this particular course for getting the benefit. The course objective is very straightforward and you will be able to understand the parametric modeling procedure here, parametric modeling through PTC CRIO 3.0. The version we'll be using is 3.0. And the course we have designed by keeping fundamentals to advanced application in mind. And we have included industry standard projects to better understand the concept and apply while working. We'll start with the basic sketch concept to your part design. Then we'll go for the assembly design, sheet metal design and drafting and how to create your own layout modules. And we have other advanced concept which you can find within our course. And let me brief about myself. I'm Pramit Kumar Sanapati. Chief Subject Matter Consultant and I'm working in Smart Learning Technologies Private Limited and I have designed and authored more than 100 courses and you can find online and you can check my LinkedIn profile to better understand my professional proficiency and different portfolios and socially you can connect with me through facebook.com and these are my IDs. I have vast more than 18 years of experience and I have trained more than 35,000 of engineers since 2000 and over technical consulting through our this online training courses we are present in 55 countries and over 10,000 engineers have used my product since last five years and I'm involved in this training development and consulting since 2000 and I have vast industry experience related to product design and typically computer aided engineering CAE is my core competency and also I am very confident at GDNT and I also do consulting in geometric dimension and tolerance and other different domains also I have. So just to brief you this is all about me and the agenda is here and who are our targeted audience and what do they do that we'll be discussing and the module highlights we'll be talking about prerequisites for this and the sample course preview we'll be giving and also we'll look at the deliverable so let us start with who are our targeted audience so to begin with we have to understand in most of the cases why to learn which package most of the confusions will come across in industry also one will say CATI is great one will say the CRIO is great one will say NX is great and honestly the answer is all are wrong so none of the software is great or none is bad so each having their application protocol like if you talk about the Dassault and primarily I'm uh, currently using uh, this particular training uh, series for CRIO but uh, let me just uh, move away from this and talk about Dassault. Dassault having a top tier product known as Katia and it's having a, a bottom line product or the lower grade uh, than your Katia product is SOLIDWORKS. Just like that if you talk about Annex they have a product called Annex before it was Unigraphics and they have a low tech product known as Solid Edge. Just like that if you talk about CRIO the CRIO having also a co-create like their uh, other uh, bottom uh, grade product and top tier product is Creo. So each uh, of this product in this uh, CAD industry having their top grade and bottom line product. But primarily if you look at the industry like the Boeing or maybe Airbus, they primarily use Katia. And if you talk about the other uh, aerospace companies also they use NX as well simultaneously and if you talk about the 
companies like the automotive uh, like the john deere or maybe the in india tata motors or maybe the ashok leyland or maybe the hondas they use creo and also simultaneously they use other program also for different programs and different applications they seamlessly use different uh, package in a heterogeneous format means the creo catia nx solidworks solid edge so simultaneously they use so it's very important to understand which is good at which particular point so once you go through this training series you will have a clear understanding why you will learn this and who can benefit this and how to get the right concept and when to learn this and primarily to begin with the target audience are the application engineers your design engineer cad design engineer cae cad engineer cae engineer the development engineers r and engineers the product design and development engineer project team leader and gm design or any particular portfolio where you have the higher hierarchy cad trainers the tool design engineers maybe the progressive die maybe the die design etc auto domain designers and aero domain designers product design engineers spm the special purpose machine designs and ca analyst and consultants finally the consultants also use this so these are the different targeted audience which you can see here so what do they do they primarily do something which is related to your responsibilities and the portfolios and primarily they develop new or modify existing product design using the advanced digital tools like the creo and other cad package and applications of cad cam cae concept to product design they integrate and they analyze user needs and develop engineering solutions they end to end work with the client and interpret their requirement in terms of the mocks and they go for the digital solution and analyze the design configurations for the product and recommend optimum solutions or changes and customize engineering applications to automate the process as well and analyze manufacturing processes and recommend appropriate process plan to optimize the operational efficiencies and also they use for customizing the product life cycle management the plm which you talk about is completely integrates starting from the concept development till the product launch and all the sub operations integrated and the data different not only the cad data but also the pdf excel sales data warehouse everything and end to end digital product design where it can fit and the importance and create technical specifications and test plan as well and create appropriate documentation to ensure traceability from the concept to the retirement or the obsolescence of the system and the subsystems these are the different responsibilities and to begin with the module highlights for creo 3.0 here are the primary important highlights which i talk i want to highlight here and mostly 55% designers based on the research never ask for course details before learning cad cam ca courses maybe you go to a physical institute or maybe you talk about one online course or maybe you just get impressed and okay let us go for this course so to be serious to be precise you have to ask a question so can i have the detailed course outline and what i can get out of this course can i really have a overlook and understand closely so these are the modules which i want to highlight here so we'll talk about the introduction to ptc creo parametric 3.0 we'll begin with the sketcher basic module and then we'll move to the advanced and creating base features and we'll talk about the datums in brief and options related to the construction of part creating complex part the level 2 and advanced modeling level 1 and advanced modeling level 2 and also there is a level 3 and assembly modeling then we'll talk about generating editing modifying the drawing views and dimensioning automatically the drawing views and interpret and cleaning those and then we'll talk about advanced drawing options and we talk about surface modeling and we'll close our session with the last module sheet metal design and these are the course highlights and prerequisites most of the people they ask frequently to me what are the prerequisites for this and the prerequisites is very very important 
Modeling means mostly engineers interpret. It is all about drawing to part and component conversion. I will teach you how you can effectively can design, not model. If you can visualize 2D sections, then you have prerequisites for design CAD package. This is the prerequisite. And also you have to focus more on design aspect than the modeling. Most of the people, they think I model, so I design. Not at all. So that I will be teaching you how you can design. What all conditions you can keep in your mind during your design process. So let us look at the sample course. And here we'll talk about the datums, which is my favorite and which is the foundation, which is the backbone. And this concept mastery will look at during this particular sample preview course series. So let me start with the definition part of datums, the features with no mass or no volume or physical occupancies available to help you in creating models and this datums are nothing but references so to be more precise this will act as a reference for sketching a feature orienting a model assembling components and so on and it plays a very key crucial role in creating complex part in cryoparametric but maybe you may be wondering still is not clear so to be more precise i can just explain you what is this data? If you talk about a particular cube where you have different sides, and let me just give you a touch here so that you can visualize. So he's having different side. And if you see this particular corner, this particular corner, so this is the plane which is perpendicular at this and there is a base which is also part three mutually perpendicular planes are there like this particular side the base and this the right side and this is the front part so most of the part when we come across in real world are not as simple as this straight line they may be like a particular sheet metal fold where it is folded in this direction again it is folded in this direction at certain angle that you cannot visualize in so and this particular angle, let us say, is 39 degrees. And also from this horizontal plane is also tilted. So this is complex. So maybe you talk about very simple part where this is elongated and that you can model. And let us say here there is a typical chamfer or maybe a particular fillet where you attach a part with certain different uh, attachments like maybe like this or maybe here you talk about a particular contour. So how to define that? For defining that you need some reference or you need some base with respect to which you need to orient or locate or maybe start doing. So maybe you talk about a particular part, maybe piston that you talk about. And here what happens is you have a center line with respect to that you can revolve this and create it but primarily the datums are the reference or the hinge with respect to which you position your sketch and you start modeling and give a shape maybe it is at a certain angle let us say here and you position something and then you create here maybe it is at a certain angle like this you position here and start doing so how to locate your feature or a particular parts base sketch and then you start adding material to that and then give a final shape is all about datums and it's all complex and critical cases I will showcase and I will introduce to you. Here the learning objective is very straightforward. So we'll understand the default datum planes. What are the three different types of default datum planes are? We'll understand selection method for this datums. We'll create datum planes using different constants and how to create datums on the fly while working how to define that we'll look at create datum access using different constant as well we'll create datum points as well and we'll introduce datum coordinate system also so these are the seven different key objectives which we'll be discussing in this particular course preview so let us look at the datums which i was discussing datum feature with no mass and volume and 
also the datums with uh, directly which can give you the reference or help you in creating the model and also it acts as a reference for orienting or locating a sketch and assembling the component also in assembly also is used and play a very important role in creating complex model as well and considered to be a feature but not geometry is having no weight or mass directly so like here you can see you have a datum plane which is known as top right and front by default and you have at the central system a coordinate system so this is the architecture by default you get in creo and all these datum three planes this plane one this plane two and this plane three are mutually perpendicular as i was discussing and all are related to this central coordinate system and this particular configuration i'll be talking about and this is by default named as front right and top you can rename those also as per your requirement so let us look at a simple case so this is the base feature where a kind of this particular shape is existing and then you load this particular part with respect to this uh, particular base or maybe this side and then you add this so how to do that that will be looking at and the selection method in pdc crew is very straightforward either you can directly uh, select this particular top side where this is highlighted or this side and you can create this particular sketch and then you give your depth or maybe you can create this particular ground shape and then you create and then you can cut material like this also in different way you can do it but how to select it and how to create this first one then you go for the second one that will look during this our introduction of datums the selection is very important as you can see in ptc creo you have a smart option you have as well as features geometry datums quilt annotation and these are different types will come across during our coming session as well and during selection also you can filter like which particular plane you are interested to select or a feature as well so how to do that that i'll be talking about during this selection and the different type of the filters so to begin with the datum options directly in ptc creo you will see a datum group where like the curves reference graphs ribbons offset planes are there but if you look at the top this is the typical place where you will see the primary datums and these are the other uh, referenced also so the it is a planar type you can have axis you can have point you can have coordinate system and you can also sketch with respect to that so these five different options are known as the datum groups and other subtypes also you have but primarily in this session we'll talk about this highlighted one like the datum planes how to define datum axis how to define what is the application why you create what is the application of datum plane and what is the application of datum points how to create how to also introduce datum coordinate system and then how to sketch it and all this protocol will be discussing and also how to select and define the placement of the new datum planes and how to configure your display and how to configure your properties and how to define this placement this three different aspect will be talking in this particular season as well and then independently as i was discussing the display protocol and the properties protocol what this property protocol is for how to rename maybe by default you get front top and right and you introduce some particular planes where you can give the name in order to recognize why you created and how to do that and next we'll look into the creating technique and the constant case let me start with this particular concept that what are the different options you have available for this particular type so this is the creo 3.0 interface and you have to set working directory for uh, browsing and accessing your files and from our exercise folder i'll just open this figure 5-2 file and here you can see this is what we have created to begin with how to approach i'll talk about that so here you can see the feature history tree and this is the first feature and here now nothing is there and by default you can see you can see this three different datum plane like right top and front 
and if you go to right click and here you see the bunch of different activities and if you go to edit action here is the dialog box which I was discussing placement display and properties here by default you can see the name is front I can change the name and I can introduce a new plane as well but by default here you can see this three different plane to begin with what I can do is I can refer this particular datum plane for creating so this is not the class for feature creation but this is the class where I'll talk about the datums so when you go to the extrude so this I'll talk in a separate session but this is the plane which I'm selecting for my datum and here you can see datum plane in my cursor and when I select this is the plane selected and also I can align this directly to the screen sketch view and here what I can do is I can directly position my sketch and create that particular feature which I was looking at and maybe I'll go for a particular slot and I'll go for some trim here and I'll remove the parts which I'm not looking at and directly I can go for the delete segment and once you finish you can see a shaded background that your sketch is close and I'll go for OK and here you can see directly the depth which I want to attach and let us say this I'll give 75 and this is the best feature with respect to that and next I'll be looking at defining my this particular feature where I'll be having this particular shape so I'll again go to the extrude feature and I'll select a particular plane or maybe I'll select this back side as my reference and that can be act as your datum reference and to begin with I can directly start maybe here and maybe I can give a particular shape like uh, maybe this and on necessary part I will delete and here you can see this particular part has to be merged with this particular reference so this reference system I'll talk in brief in my coming classes but here just I'm showing you how to define your datum planes I'll switch it and I can define my particular depth whatever I'm looking at maybe 50 and I can go for it so automatically that part will merge and typical heights which you need that you can define as well but primarily here our intention is how to allocate your features and then you see that so this is our original part which I'll delete and I will show you this original parts so this is the particular extrude which you can see is done over this particular plane and this is another part which is done again if you go to the edit action here you can see this is the exact sketch position and the distance and specification and then the height is given and here if you double click you can see the depth as well this is the 120 and let us say I need 150 for example and it will update instantly so this is the basic concept how to apply but if you go for any particular datum plane let us say the front top or right and go to edit action here you will see this dialog box like properties or the display let me introduce a new datum plane and show you how the different options are available so I was talking about this datum toolbar the panel where the plane axis point coordinate and sketch are available so if you go to plane and you select this particular dialog box here you will see the placement display and properties let me say I'll select this and I need to have my plane at certain distance from this because I need to define some feature which is projected at certain angle and maybe the distance is 150 and when you see here this is done as offset and you have lots of options available so I'll talk more about how to use a particular type and how to assign this particular placement parameters and here the translation is done which is 150 and if you go to display here you can even flip the side of the display and you can adjust the outline also 
whatever the outline you have you can increase the size maybe width i'm looking at 400 and this by 200 and this you can resize and if you go to this i want to go for my slot projection so i'm giving a name valid name which i can refer later that why i've given this particular name and what i will do with this datum plane and go for ok and here you can see slot projection and if you hover your cursor you can see the slot projection is shown here and now you can directly use this so let me show you if you go to the extrude and select this particular plane and go to this particular option known as sketch view it will be aligned and maybe i'll go for a particular sketch which is like this and i can set all the parameters like i am looking at 400 from this base i am looking at 55 and this thickness is 30 and this is i'm not uh, that much sure about this so i'll just uh, keep this as shown and go for ok and here you can see i can set the depth till what length i need to have it and maybe i'll go for this as 250 and i'll go for ok here and here you can see from that particular plane i created this feature which is now currently looking like this so these are the different options which you can see and also i was talking about the filters here you can see the bottom right corner where you can see the smart features so if you go for feature datums are features that you can select as well as these are the features that also you can select but if you only go to datum here you cannot select this can you see to select the object hold down the alt key to temporarily disable the selection filter so i don't want only i want to select these datums but i cannot create or click this object because this is the filter just like that if you go to geometry here you can see the geometries or you can see the areas related to this all you can select but mostly if you want to only select the features then also you can have your filter so that from a bunch of different activities you can use your filter to select what you need annotations also like that you can filter like datums only datums these are also coordinates also are datums like that you can use your filter for using this and these are the very basic fundamentals related to datums and now we'll talk about the typical understanding about the different relationship and the placement protocol I was discussing about this datum plane concept and here we'll deep drive and look into the typical conditions and here we'll be talking about this particular datum plane constant and the pair which is valid and somewhere you will see no which is not valid so let me brief what i mean so datum plane you can create or you can position using the through constant or using normal constant parallel constant angle constant tangent constant and without having any constant only standalone constant directly by referring you can also create so this is basically the through constant and normal constant parallel constant angle constant tangent and this is the default standalone constant but here you can see two different columns are there this is basically through with the through through with the normal this is through with the normal two pairs you need so let us say for example how to read this let us say you have one axis for your reference and this axis is passing through a cylinder and you need again another axis which is passing through another cylinder and by combining these two this two you can in fact generate one plane or you can say that could be your edge or curve or axis or any combination so what i mean is this particular combination between this through and this through is nothing but the possibilities 
let me show you what exactly i mean if you can directly open this particular model uh, from your exercise folder and you go to your particular plane and here i can filter what all i need so let me refer this axis and this particular edge because we saw the axis edge and curve can be through referenced and here i am picking one axis and another pick will be my edge and with respect to this edge and you can see this directly when i shift either this axis directly go for this axis directly it shifts but if you hold your control click and select another edge here what happens is this is locked here and this is also locked here and the new plane is defined by referring this two one is axis and one is edge that is what is shown here and this is the combination basically the axis the through the first set basically using it combination so you need minimum two sets of combinations so the first type is through that could be axis edge or curve or a point and vertex or here also point and vertex or axis and point also any combination you can do this or maybe with this or maybe this is the first two so any combination is valid that is basically the intersection of these two option let me show you the point and axis next point and point also i'll show so first i'll show you axis or edge any one combination and another combination point or vertex so how to create and next point and vertex and point and vertex let me show you here what you can do is you can pick one axis and point and vertex for example in this particular example here is the axis so i'll go to the plane and directly i will filter here the axis and hold the control click and change the filter to vertex and maybe this vertex i'll pick you can see this pass through this vertex and this axis and finally my output is done and you can go for okay and now you can define anything through this particular plane for example if i'll go to extrude and select this particular plane and i'll change this to orthographic view and i am interested to draw one cylinder and this dimension is 75 and this also placed at distance of 75 and this height you can keep it zero and go for ok and now you can see this directly can create one cylinder and here you can see this is directly creating a cut if you remove this cut directly you can see whatever the height maybe 300 and i could able to create now you can see directly by passing through this and this reference and typically whatever the height you are looking from this if you double click the height is 300 from this datum plane and if you want to change this to any particular height maybe you need 450 that will be updated so this is the application why we create this particular datum plane and how to get that so i'll just uh, delete this so that i'll reset it and again second set i was talking about vertex and vertex so let me give one example this uh, inside corner this vertex and this corner vertex in between i need to create one plane so i'll go to plane and i'll pick here the vertex and i'll pick one vertex here and hold the control and pick another vertex and now you can see in between these two vertices now my datum plane is typically positioned and when i'll go for ok what is happening is the select up to three reference such as a plane surface edge pointer point so you need another third point so this already defined and i'll just hold the control click and click another point and once you do that now you can see this is created and now i can create anything through this particular plane so these are the different conditions which you have to understand and that is here shown let me show you another example where you can understand this so let us say i need to refer a cylinder that is a surface 
the through that cylindrical surface and this is the first set and second set is axis so how to do that a cylindrical surface and one axis that is basically this combination this and this are meeting here and it is possible so i'll be choosing one cylinder and i'll be choosing one axis edge or curve let me show you through axis and cylinder so here this is the cylindrical uh, surface or this may be cylindrical surface so i'll select this outer one so i'll go to the plane and here you can see a bunch of different options you have so just you go for all so that you can select cylindrical surface here when i'll pick cylindrical surface you can see this is what is shown here and now hold the control click and change this to axis and hold the control click and you can directly pick this particular axis now what is happening so this is through and when you will go for the second option either this this is also through but this is not activated so select up to three reference such as plane surface edge pointer plane let me show you what i mean you directly go for the datums and here is best to select your surface as your reference so that the surface you can pick and again here you can see that particular through is shown here this is my through you may be wondering why this is not getting created because the axis where it is positioned and the cylindrical surface which you have selected refer to the same axis so what you can do is just you select here the second set edge edge and select this edge so that this will be valid and passing through that axis in fact and this edge so that is what the meaning here the cylindrical surface and axis edge or curve or in fact if you have axis outside somewhere then you can pick that but that is not valid because that refer to this both the thing the same definition axis so that is the one way how you can do and next type is between the point and point i have already shown and between the cylinder and cylinder surface also you can do so how we can experiment this cylindrical surface with cylindrical surface this is the resulting this with this one so this is the cylindrical surface reference both is possible and some are no and through plane to cylinder you cannot do because cylindrical surface already locks tangency and again when you go for a plane that is violating that so for example if this is the cylindrical surface you already refer this and you have another uh, let us say plane uh, somewhere maybe like this and when you go for this is not possible to meet the tangency always so because of that this set of uh, possibilities are omitted here and this is shown no so cylindrical to cylindrical is possible let me show you what i mean by this let us create another uh, feature here so that we can refer uh, our cylindrical surface here so maybe i'll refer this and I'll go to the screen and another cylindrical surface I'll be positioning somewhere here and this dimension I'll be giving 200 and from this reference this I'll give 250 and this uh, position I'll keep it at 500 mm away that's it and I'll just go for OK and here I'll go to right click and go to symmetric and this distance i'll be giving something 100 this is the two different cases and here if i want to refer this plane tangent here and tangent here is possible so what you can do is you can directly go for the surface here and select this and hold your control and select this and now you can see between this center your new axis has been positioned and if you go for OK now, you can start using this datum plane. That means it is always referring the axis center. Or what you can do is, in this particular case, if you have the other cases, then you probably could configure this. If you go to edit here, this, and here you have through, and if you change this to tangent, and if you change this to tangent, then that will be tangent to this point. And if you flip this, then you could able to 
define that with respect to other one also. I'll show you precisely after deleting this. Let us start this particular plane and when I'll pick this and here instead of through, if I'll go to tangent, this will be tangent and hold your control and select this and here also this through will be tangent and in this way if you want to have a tangent and tangent configuration through both the cylindrical surface is also valid and here you can see the tangent cylinder and this cylinder is also valid here that is what uh, i was uh, trying to show you this so tangent and here this is in fact through but instead of through if this is uh, not through and tangent that also is valid here so lots of combinations you can experiment and you can try here this is the first thing which uh, i was uh, discussing so the first selection is this cylindrical surface that means it will refer back this particular axis and second datum plane you can select here so that that will be positions flat vertical and based on that the resulting output you can have and this is a normal constant perpendicular so next uh, we'll move to this uh, particular type the normal constant with normal is applicable in many cases and some are not allowed you can see these are not allowed these combinations and rest of all are allowed so let us start with the axis and axis so axis to axis you can define this normal as well so for understanding this you can directly go for this the first selection plane is this and selection uh, second is this particular cylindrical surface and the perpendicular feature is nothing but a plane which is tangent to that will directly be defined so let me show you what i mean let me show you this uh, particular combination of normal and your tangency or maybe normal and normal if you go to plane you select this first set and this first set is not offset this is basically normal and once you choose uh, this particular configuration and hold your control and select this and here instead of through if you can go to tangent that will be tangent or you can see this ok is highlighted and if you go to let us say through this will pass through that one or if you try to go through normal that will be normal to this one so instead you have to say that this is again normal and this is again normal so both are intersecting so instead you can go for one edge tangent so that your definition will be defined so normal to tangent you can check this particular option and here you can see this this is normal and this is tangent you can see the plane and plane both plane are not possible but i choose one is a surface and another is your flat uh, plane so here that particular thing is very important and when you see this as a yes this is normal you can see and this is tangent you can see so this combination i chose so this was possible but if you go for both as normal let us say your plane and another plane here also this is possible so if you go for a plane as your normal and another passing uh, your reference is also plane that is also possible so you have to work out with all these sorts of possibilities how to deal with that so subconsciously all these things will be knowing and we don't need to worry about that next is the parallel constant and parallel constant is applicable only to the plane and here also the sub options parallel is subdivided if you talk about that where it is possible that you can see all these uh, possibilities are valid here rest of all these are not possible let us start understanding this so in case of your parallel which is valid the selecting a datum plane and an axis to create another datum plane so if you go for the first select uh, reference that is your datum plane and second selected reference is your axis and 
this will be parallel to that one and that is only possible here and you can see the axis reference that is through and parallel is plane and only the both are parallel is not possible here you can see so resulting datum plane is something like this so we'll be selecting first as your datum plane and second as your datum axis so let us uh, go to this uh, plane and select uh, this datum plane and for selecting this datum plane i'll be going to uh, this datum plane option and i'll pick this datum plane and again i'll go to the axis and here this particular datum plane is by default offset here so you can directly go to parallel option this is the parallel and when you hold the control click and select this directly what happens is this is basically through and when you switch this there is no other option please have a note here there is no parallel suggested here and when you go for ok that is passing through this and compatibly you can define and use this as your reference so you can see the combination and which is valid and which is not valid because this is very advanced option and you have to try using all this combination which is working and based on that this table is interpreted here and just like that if you have a offset is very straightforward if you need to have a distance that typically is referenced from certain reference and here you can see this is the first selection and second vertices and that is basically edge locked with respect to this particular point and here this is resulting datum plane and datum plane constant that is combined with your offset constant is most often you use and how to get that here you can see the offset through all this option are valid and if you see offset this for plane or coordinate system both you can apply in case of plane if you are using a plane to access this valid and these are not possible and only possible is your coordinate system with respect to a standalone system where you can move it and mostly you do not have options so only this four possibilities you can have the first possibility is plane to axis second is plane to cylindrical surface next is plane to any standalone reference like without having any reference i will show all these cases so plane to axis if you want to have your offset the plane is offset but axis is through you can see plane is offset but axis is through so this you don't need to remember this once you uh, uh, master the concept automatically your subconscious will decide but still uh, this table initially will help you so let me show you offset uh, plane and axis through so if you go to this and you go to offset plane maybe your datum plane here you are selecting offset plane and hold the control click and you go for your axis axis is basically through and here you can see by default this offset is giving you one typical angle if you go for zero what happened is exactly what there so you have the freedom to offset with respect to the angle as well so let us say you need to go for 25 That rotation is also maintained because this is through this axis please understand and offset is basically by default is only possible through angle only and whatever the angle offset you need to give that is possible because this is referenced with respect to this axis that means you are locking at your axis and your reference is nothing but your angle and you can see the axis and offset so what all possibilities are there you can see there is no other but instead of offset you can go for parallel as well or you can go for normal so this is perpendicular to this selected green reference uh, whatever the through and now you can see here also there is a possibility of normal so you can see this is the final output so all this combination you can play around when you click this what is available what is not available you can directly see this so no need to keep uh, directly that what i am showing and this table but initially for understanding for beginners this is very important to understand this table 
just like that the tangent constant also here you can see the tangent constant is valid where where not valid you can see and in all these three cases it is valid if you are talking about a tangent to a cylinder and one axis this is possible through point and cylinder is not possible because this is not valid at all and again it is plane to cylinder is possible and finally the plane to cylinder that is parallel and one is normal both are possible so that you can see this and next important operation which mostly i deal with during my training presentation is datum plane created on the fly what is the meaning of this on the fly for example you are already inside one feature extrude you are inside that command and you decided to define one particular datum plane so there itself you can select the reference and create on the fly fly is nothing but during your working during working how you can define that is known as the fly mode i will show you the fly mode and how to define this particular condition let us say i am currently working and i would like to define this so i went uh, through extrude command and i want to define my datum plane at certain angle from this axis so currently if i'll go to placement and define it is asking for a plane i do not have a plane at 45 degree from this axis so what should i do so by keeping this open what you can do is you can invoke the fly mode command and directly you can create this as well if you go to model here the planes are available and if you go to the plane and you select one axis and any other reference you hold the control and this is basically through or normal i'll go to normal or you can go to through and second set of operations is very important and through this i need to define already i have shown this and go for okay and now you can see this is the plane which already i gave and go to sketch and when you go to the sketch here the beauty here is directly you could able to define because i did not need to have my existing datum plane so in fly also i can directly create and position this and if you see this particular datum plane which i created recently is with respect to that but this is not visible so if you explore this extrude within that you will see this particular datum plane is hidden by default all the datum plane which you create during the fly or you can directly on hide this and you can hide this and you can give a name and this is my angle datum go to rename and go for angle datum and enter this so always whatever the small case you will write it will be converted to capital and if you don't need you can hide this as well as before and you can hide this by default it will automatically hide all the fly datums fly is basically during working if you would like to define your datums then directly you can define that datum and also what you can do is by default when you place your axis or plane you can increase the size like this particular so if you want to change that can be done and that can be done through your display tab and how to do this is very simple i'll show you directly find your axis so here is our axis right click and if you go to this edit definition then directly we'll see this datum and go to display and here there is an option called adjust outline and here you can see the typical length of this axis and here you can drag this and extend outside so that clearly you can see that and you can roughly round it also 350 or 450 whatever and go for ok and in this way you can use that like that this particular datum also whatever you have you can directly go to edit and go to display and here adjust outline width and height let us say width i need 750 and this also 750 square lock aspect ratio so if you change this to let us say 700 this will be 700 as well and here is the output so anytime you need to increase the datum for visibility or for your easy reference check then you are free to do that by using this particular method 
in our coming uh, sessions and uh, lectures you have this uh, particular option again uh, we are continuing with that how to uh, change the properties and how to define the data masses passing through an edge already this very straightforward and simple that we'll be looking again and how to define a normal perpendicular with respect to your surface and also we'll look into the data is passing through a datum point and normal and we'll look into the axis passing through a center of a round surface and we'll look into the axis passing through edge formed by two plane this one plane and this another plane how to intersect that and also we'll look into the edge to edge already i have shown this also and we'll look in one exercise how to create a tangent with respect to the curve and create your datum plane and datum points concept also will introduce and will understand in brief and how to define a new datum plane and configure it with respect to the distance and the locations and we'll also look at datum point on a face or a datum plane how to define and how to give the reference with respect to this suppose this is the datum plane and what is the distance from which x and y that we'll look into and we'll also typically configure that and also we'll be looking into the datum point at the intersection of three reference let us say this is the surface one two and three this is not planar basically but in spite of that also how you can create at the intersection that we'll look into we'll look into the datum point on the edge with a ratio at what distance from this edge or maybe from this edge by giving the offset values and the ratio or with the real values that we'll look into and also we'll create the array of datum planes where you have a set of uh, points with a different x y z and how to cater to that that we'll be looking into and also we'll create the datum point by direct clicking and placing that we'll look into the datum coordinate system where we'll be defining and positioning that with respect to the origin and we'll fix that and we'll map like the linear radial or diametral type of patterns and we'll configure all this with respect to cartesian cylindrical spherical or with respect to a file as well and we'll look into one of the very important aspect that is the projects and in projects we'll also see by different orthorhombic view how you can create your drawings and step by step how you can create that and finally get your result and also we'll be deep driving into the final setup and model tree and in project also again we'll see another set where we have the orthorhombic views and how to form that by typically starting from the base feature and adding and then finally moving into the final shape and how to modify that and finally get your objects and update that so that also will be looking and in project 3 also another part will be seeing some complex object and they are with the views the step by step you will learn how to create this and you have some homework which you will be practicing after learning this by seeing the orthorhombic views you will be doing that and this is one this is also another one where you will be applying the datum concept and typically learning that hope you enjoyed the session and deliverables are very straightforward so we'll give all modules soft copy part files assembly files drawing files where applicable lifetime support this lifetime support is basically for related to technical doubts through forum support and within 48 hours you will get your resolution and drawing pdf copy for easy reference tips and tricks sessions with all module for increasing productivity all modules video license file also will be given thank you for watching